Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. The recent announcement from the World Trade Organization, WTO, regarding Iraq's completion of accession training and market access negotiations on goods is a significant development in the country's efforts to join the global trade body. Iraq was among 23 participants that successfully completed this training, marking a pivotal step toward full membership. This indicates that Iraq is actively preparing for its accession to the WTO, a process that could potentially bring about profound changes to its economy. While some reports suggest that an official announcement could come as soon as this week, it's important to unpack what this means for Iraq and the broader implications of its accession. Firstly, Iraq's accession to the WTO could greatly enhance its global trade relations. By joining the WTO, Iraq would be expected to align its trade policies with international standards, which in turn could improve the transparency and predictability of its trade environment. This could encourage more foreign direct investment, FDI, as international companies often look for stable and predictable trade environments when deciding where to invest. For Iraq, a country with vast natural resources, particularly in oil, such membership could open doors to new markets and help attract more diversified investments, not just in oil, but in other sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, and services. Furthermore, WTO membership could lead to increased market access for Iraqi goods, making it easier for the country to export products to other member countries. This would be a major boost for Iraq's economy, especially as it continues to rebuild and diversify following years of conflict and economic instability. Access to larger markets would help Iraq's industries grow, create jobs, and stimulate economic development. For a country with a high unemployment rate and significant economic challenges, these benefits could be a game changer. However, it's also worth noting that joining the WTO comes with obligations. Iraq would need to comply with the WTO's rules on trade, which could require reforms in areas such as customs procedures, tariffs, and subsidies. While these changes are generally aimed at making trade fairer and more open, they could be challenging for Iraq, especially in the short term. Some sectors of the economy, particularly those that are currently protected by high tariffs or subsidies, might struggle to adjust to the new competition. However, over time, these reforms could make Iraq's economy more competitive on the global stage as businesses adapt to the new environment and become more efficient. The training that Iraq has completed is part of a broader process that every country must go through to join the WTO. This process involves negotiating market access for goods and services with existing WTO members, as well as making commitments to reform trade policies and practices to comply with WTO rules. By completing this training and the market access negotiations, Iraq has demonstrated its commitment to meeting these requirements and is now closer than ever to becoming a full member of the organization. There are also political implications to consider. Iraq's accession to the WTO could signal to the international community that the country is serious about integrating into the global economy and is committed to implementing the necessary reforms to do so. This could improve Iraq's standing on the global stage and help to strengthen its diplomatic and economic ties with other countries. As we await further developments, the potential announcement of Iraq's accession to the WTO is a significant moment for the country. If the announcement does come this week, it would mark the beginning of a new chapter in Iraq's economic development and its relationship with the global economy. For Iraqis, this could mean new opportunities for growth, investment, and prosperity. Though the road ahead will undoubtedly come with challenges as the country adapts to its new role within the global trade system.